Hey Paul, how you doing? Uh, Victor here. Here is the throttle body I have for you. So just wanted to uh, check up internals. It already has been on the bench test for a while and everything seems to be fine. Uh, but um, I still want to show you the, what's inside because this is a very nice unit. It uh, doesn't seem to have a lot of miles. It was made in 2010. So this is pretty fresh because you don't really find units built any younger than that. See it says 10 on it. So the wires and on the inside, as you see nice and colorful. That's the factory soldering. Um, the wires are beautiful as you can see. Nothing, nothing is wrong with cables. Gears, everything is clean. There is not much dust from unit being in operation. So this is a very low mileage unit. It's a very good unit. Almost new really to be honest. But I have to do a couple of things. Obviously, I wanted to see the internals. And I can also tell from looking on, on the gears, as you can see, everything is very, very clean. It's very, very nice. Okay, so compressor is off. And, um, well, this is basically, yeah, it's been cleaned off a little bit, but still, it wasn't dirty to start off with, because, again, unit is pretty fresh. So, that that is that I can tell for sure. Okay, never been opened. I'm the first guy who opened it up just to look inside what's happening there. The actual seal is also very nice because as you can see it stays up. It's not flat. It's nice and soft. So that is also nice. Usually these seals are very flat after years of operation. Nothing on the inside of the cover very clean as well. Okay, so we remove the cover, <clears throat> right? cover is also very very nice and clean rubber gasket is awesome potentiometer is like brand new because it's just really really is a nice piece you can hear potentiometer very strong very nice the sound is great same here and also if you look over here usually in this very area there is lots of dust carbon from wear and tear this one is absolutely clean. There is absolutely no carbon deposits. And that tells you that this unit is almost brand new. Because uh, it takes not too long to have any dust to accumulate in this very area right around here. And it's absolutely clean. Now I've been overheated. Brushes, they're like brand new. This is also very nice. You can see those, but they're nice, very nice. Yeah, I'm really, really happy for this unit, to be honest with you. The guy came through and uh, hooked me up with a good unit, actually. Hello, Victor here at RestoreMercedes.com. Herpal, this is for you. Herpal Malaysia, throttle body here. Okay, buddy, so... I got this unit finally put all back together. I, I did what I had to do with the linkage here. So now it's nice and free. Very nicely. Moving very lightly. <coughs> moving also. So that's a good thing. And um, the unit is basically going to be left on the bench test here uh, overnight again. And then it will warm up. And um, yeah, we'll basically should be good to go then I want to test test it uh, for uh, when everything is put together now first thing is I want to show you the live readings here first we go with the voltages 4 point, uh, point 47 that is the average so 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 is where this is supposed to be 4.25 it's my particular control module I'm using that's what this voltage shows um, on the unit that I'm using. Now, your unit might be a little different. I'm using 2.8 liter uh, unit, so if you're using 3.2 liter unit, uh, the e-gas module itself, then obviously readings might change. But not to worry, I just go by this very number. All my throttles come up to 4.25. Uh, 0.48, as long as it's uh, around 0.5, we're perfect. And obviously, when we will be opening the throttle body, voltages will change. Computer is a little moody today. I don't know what's wrong with it. It's just like 
being slow but nonetheless that's gonna um, <clears throat> that's gonna help us to show all the readings now micro switch is on off oh I see it's like something's with the battery there it's just blinking red I'll pull the battery out the secondary battery okay anyway so now on off micro switches so we move the throttle to slightly open position just make video like this micro switches say half throttle micro switches switch over from on off to off on they will be jumping around that's because computer is moody and it's just it's always been doing that for all the tests and obviously when we move the linkage our voltages follow so if I move it a little more let's say wide open throttle it will always be almost will be immer, um, mirror image I'm sorry I just cannot talk straight today it will be almost mirror image but not necessarily exactly mirror because it cannot open 90 degrees it opens like 89 degrees or something like that so we have very close to wide open throttle so this is wide open and obviously if we move it to any other direction say like right around here then our voltages will also follow all right it takes a little time this is not uh, the software is uh, developed a long time ago so obviously it's not as fast as modern softwares and we're using serial ports so it's, it's very slow by the time you can see any readings and like I said don't worry about these jumping around they always do so voltages is what's most important here and go back to idle and we should have uh, 4.25 0 0.48 micro switches back to their original state so we're good here open it a little more micro switches switch over and then voltages also follow so I can open it as you can see fast I can go slow and nice and linear so everything is okay I don't really have problems with this unit like I said this unit um, is 2010 built it has very low mileage from the internals you can tell it's clean there is no dust no carbon deposits no nothing no signs of overheat so yeah this unit is definitely from a low mileage I mean it's it's been on the vehicle for not too long and it didn't um, actually work a lot after replacement so this is very good all right so this is basically all I'm leaving it on the bench test if any problems then I will revisit it but 12 hours or even longer maybe I'll leave it over the weekend it's going to warm this unit very well and then we'll see for the clutch coil because clutch coils is uh, um, is sensitive to heat you know so that's what we want and it warms up in there really 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 well heats up actually so for now this is gonna be all and I think if everything is fine after bench test this unit is going to be good to go we'll be ready to mail to you all right so this is it this is victor at historymercedes.com thank you for watching